What's going on guys, it's your boy Keepling, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm teaching you something, actually I don't even need this. Yep, don't need that boy. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing trading, because uh, I I think I mentioned this in the previous video. Uh, <clears throat> the, the gambling one. I mentioned that I might do a trade video just to show you guys how it's done. A lot of people who are new to CSGO, uh, or just old, but they've never really traded before, don't really know how it works. So this video is just to simply tell you how it works and how you could do it and how to benefit yourself from getting the best of your possible abilities. So as you guys are well aware, some of you might be aware of this, but the CSGO market is pretty stable in terms of investing into skins. Some people might find it a bit ridiculous considering like you, people spend so much money on the game. Uh, me, I was also one of these people back, I don't know, back in 2013, 2014, 15, in, in the era where I should have really started investing. I really underestimated the market back then. Uh, but more than cryptocurrency markets or any forex trading, which I also do on my side, uh, this is probably the most mo most stable one so you're probably going to get a more decent output like a more risk-free investment would be csgo skins and it's actually quite funny if you think about it but it is this is cs.money by the way i'm not sponsored obviously but this is my go-to website for for trading just because that's the best prices uh best available options there's also d market which i also use to buy the cheapest possible skins for instance when i first bought my fire serpent which i no longer have I actually bought my, my Fire Serpent from here, the factory new version, 780, okay, that's actually risen a lot. I bought my field tested for about $400, and now it's worth around 800 to 900 So you guys can see how the value of the, the thing goes up really high. So for instance, this website here shows that my, my Rambit is worth $651 USD. If we go to, let's see, uh, okay, let's just do 6.51 USD to SGD. That's 862. But on CS Money, my knife is worth 1,286. So when you're doing trading, especially on specific skins, it doesn't necessarily depend on all your skins. Each skin is priced differently. So one skin might be a bit more expensive on CS Money, but another skin might be a bit more expensive on another website. So you have to be able to look through many different websites and see which one is the best for you. So basically the thing I'm going to be trading now is the skin that we got last week. If you guys remember the gambling video, which is a, a link to that video right here, this, this skin is worth $300. Um, I'm also going to be trading off my, my uh, Neon Revolution because, well, I don't need it anymore given that I have the uh, Wild Lotus, which I don't think I showed you guys. You guys probably don't know about it, but I bought a Wild Lotus, yeah. I make compulsive decisions like this. Where did it go? Um, here, there it is. So I bought this and it's much better of an investment. So that's why I don't really need both of these skins because I have an AK already. So uh, also this one. So these three skins, I will not be needing. My, what I'm going to be showing you guys now is how to basically get the best skin for that money. So in this website, in total, the three skins that I've currently deposited, I haven't deposited anything, but I've currently chosen for trade is worth $411. So what I can do here is, if you want, you can go to Pro, which is showing the trade lock, um, the float, specific floats. If you want it to be a fade, if it's a fade skin, what's the pattern ID, the rarity, the collection. Let's not play around with that. Basic is good enough for most people. For me, at least, it's better. So I like to go with, again, I have $411, so I'm probably going to stick with that. There's two ways of doing what I want to do. I haven't decided exactly yet on whether I want to upgrade my knife or stick with this knife and just get something else. If I want to upgrade my knife, I have 1,697 to work with. So let's actually, let's go find that out. If I have 1,697, what is the most expensive knife I can get? Uh, Stat Track Factory New Falchion Knife. Okay, that's kind of, kind of bad. But obviously you guys know that I freaking love green. So I'm going to have to specifically choose Gamma Doppler here in the search bar so I can get that obviously that specific skin I want. And this is what we're getting for 150. Wait, we should probably go change the the order from maximum price. So the, the, the most expensive one from this price range will be on top, which is this knife right here. It's a bayonet phase two, which is pretty much full green. Its float is 0.01, which is really, really good. But obviously, you guys know I'm sticking with the, uh, the Karambit, so I don't really want a Bayonet right now. This is a minimal wear Karambit, which is not bad, but the float, as you can see, is really bad. The float is 0.07. My current knife is at 0.01, I think? Yeah, 0.0137, so 
This is a minimal wear skin, which is really downgrading, so I wouldn't do that. But this, on the other hand, is a phase 3, has a much better float than my current knife, but obviously this is one side, we can't see the other side of the skin, so we don't know if it's good enough. But luckily CSGO, uh, CS Money sorry, has this thing called 3D View, which basically allows you to see the skin in 3D, which is pretty awesome. Now you can do the same for this, the, the mobile version, version of the app, but you can't do this, which is much cooler, which is what I like to do, is the, uh, the, the first person view which where you have the actual hands and the stuff. So currently, as you guys know, my gloves, uh, I'm using the Hydra, sorry, Moto gloves, which is turtle and then it's minimal wear condition. So we can go and change that um, just to get a more accurate, wait, minimal wear is around here. Okay, so this is a more accurate representation, representation of what we'll look like. It's actually not bad at all. But the knife is more blue than green, and my liking is green, obviously. So this is not the knife for me. Out immediately, I can decide that I don't want it. Looking down, we have the M9 Karambit. I mean, sorry, M9 Bayonet. Not bad again, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, so I think this is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to be upgrading my knife, because either I don't have enough money to upgrade it to a better value, or it's just not good enough for me. So I'm going to keep my knife and stick with 411. Let's actually do that. Let's go with 411. Now, whenever you're upgrading a skin, if it's for investment purpose, you have to make sure that you realize that there's two different things when it comes to upgrading, uh, getting a better skin. It's one, if you're doing it for value or if you're doing it for looks. If you're gonna be getting something just to keep as an investment, that's different from buying something and keeping it as a, well, as a showcase, as, as an actual cosmetic in the game that you use. For me, this is extra money. So I could do either one of them. I could I could get something that is also green and something that might fit my mojo, or I could do the exact opposite and get something that's high value, which means something that's low in price on CS Money, but is higher in value in other sites or in Steam Community Market. So for instance, if we're gonna take a look at this top one, the most expensive that we can get for now, this is, I think it's also the, the Moto Gloves. I'm not exactly sure which gloves it is. It's Moto Gloves Polygon, it's well-worn. So this is not that bad looking, but again, we're not gonna want to buy this for the sake of using it. We're gonna go see how much it's worth in the market. So right now it's 410, okay, let's say 411 for the sake of rounding it up. On Steam, it's 362. So you're actually paying, it's not worth it because you're obviously overpaying. And if you look at the market here, it's not really stable. It's fluctuating up and down. It went from 297 to 365 in just a matter of two days. That is not a stable market, guys. If you're gonna buy a skin for investment, you wanna make sure that the market that you're buying it, it for that specific skin in this wear, which is well-worn, is pretty stable. This is the exact opposite of stable. It's going up and down, up and down. It's very, very unstable, and I would not recommend trying putting your money in this specific skin. So something that would be a better example would be, okay, so this is what you call a roughly stable market because I guess the timeline for this is also not that. It's the same timeline for the rest, but it's only been going down by, okay, the highest it's gone is above $400, but as you can see, it's kind of a stable uh, increase, rough increase. If you were to extrapolate this over, I, guess, I don't know, the past six months, you would be seeing a stable increase, stable rise. But at that size, this small ups and downs would be kind of irrelevant because they're looking at the bigger factor, which is it going up in price. So from from the, the topest margin, which is 299 to the bottom, which is 264, roughly around $30 difference. It's going all the way to the lowest right now, which is 295 and uh, 315, which is probably just around 20 to $30 difference. So we're seeing a growth in the market in that aspect which is a good way to keep investing. Uh, it's minimal wear as well, so it's fine. All right guys, after a long, long time of trying to figure out what I wanna get, I figured out what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this Gamma Doppler Phase 2. Now, the reason I'm doing this is cause, well, it's something green, which could look nice in my, uh, my showcase. And two, it's a great float. It also has a great pattern. Uh, the Phase 2, it's superb. It looks very nice with my knife. I mean with my gloves. And if I really, really wanted, if I was really bored of my karambit, I could just switch this up. But I don't know why I would do that. <laughs> Frankly speaking. So, this is how it's gonna work. You simply add it to trade, and you're pretty much good to go. 
So what happens is, now I have $17.60 to spare. What can we do with this, you ask? Good question. We can go on and find something that's worth $17.60. Okay, I, I think we might have to exclude the knives thing because you're not going to find a knife for $17. Um, okay. Eh. All right, gentlemen. So I just decided to trade uh, what is known as a viewer pass for the skins. So the reason why I did this is because we actually use the browser instead because it's easier for you guys to see. I'm using the the viewer pass mainly because I really want the the Berlin coin because I missed out on it two years ago because I'm obviously a bit of an idiot. So that happened. Uh, basically, this is how this is how simple you just trade. You literally go and trade and you go on your Steam on your phone and then you click on the accept trade and then you're done. I pretty much have it in my account. I think I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but make sure you have this thing called Steam Helper downloaded on your browser. I'm using Edge. It works on Chrome, works on Firefox, on pretty much any, any uh, browser that has extensions enabled is really really helpful it can find out if uh, accounts are cheating or scamming or where your items have been before you or whether for instance these guys are good or not so yeah that's pretty good steam sorry browser i keep going to steam i don't know why that's trust but this one i'm not giving anything away so it's free so i got the pass already and done done trade is successful if i go to my if i go to my account right now on steam you should see that if I go to my inventory, I should now have a knife and I should have the pass. So very nice. Anyways, that's CS trading for you guys. If you want a more in-depth video, I think I don't know if this could if anyone could be more in-depth than this. But if I ever do another trade in the future, if I'm thinking of doing a bigger trade, I will make sure obviously these skins are gone, so if I refresh, it will show up as gone. There. Okay. Alright, fine. There's nothing there. Here's my knife, seven days untradeable. You, you guys know it works it's it's not it's not a scam so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just trading for noobs i guess for dummies but if you want more videos like this please make sure to rate comment subscribe and tell me in the comment section below anyway hope you guys are loving this wonderful day today enjoy your day guys please rate, comment, subscribe i already said that so many times i'm just gonna end the video right here